What's going on, people? Welcome to You Know The Score this evening. It's your boy, Shingy, a London. Now, you know the drill. Before you do anything, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well. Make sure you leave a comment below and get involved in the conversation and share uh, with your friends and whoever may be new to the channel. Do you know what I'm saying? Share with anybody else. Do you know what I mean? But um, let's get straight into it. I mean, in the words of Fabrizio Romano, here we go. So it looks like... The deal is in place for Gareth Bell to make a sensational return back to Tottenham Hotspurs after seven years. You know, seven years he's been at Real Madrid, but in the last couple of years, his relationship with the Spanish Giants has deteriorated somewhat. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know. But, you know, Real Madrid seem like they, they want him out. Tottenham Hotspurs, they want him back. Do you know what I mean? So it just makes sense for both parties to kind of like find a deal to get Bale back into the Premier League and back at Tottenham Hotspurs once and for all. I mean, we all know that what happened with Bale's deal last season, his move to China was blocked by Real Madrid. So, you know, he was thinking that basically Bale may be able to mend relations with Real Madrid and Zidane, but, you know, it, it, it didn't quite turn out like that so now obviously Real Madrid have made it clear they want him out Bale wants to leave because he's more interested in playing golf over there than playing for Real Madrid I mean you saw um, when they won La Liga he just seemed like an outcast you know what I mean it just seemed very odd but you know he's <clears throat> he's been comfy he's been sitting on what four to five hundred racks a week uh, in sunny Spain so he's being comfy, but now it, it seems like it's the right time for him to kind of make the, the return back to the North London club. Um, it'll be a major coup for Spurs. Um, the deal reportedly is going to cost 20 million in total. It's a loan deal for one season. Um, so that 20 million is going to include his salary. Um, but apparently Real Madrid will be subsidising that salary. Uh, part of it so I think Spurs will probably pay like 250 grand a week towards his his current salary uh, it also includes I think some agent fees and some other fees as well um, so in total 20 million for one year I mean in this current climate you know I, I think that's a good deal for them because you know they need Spurs they need someone that's going to kind of regalvanize the team because ever since Bell's left They've never replaced him. They've never replaced him. I mean, some may argue that Son is the is the is the replacement, but you know, I don't think they've ever re you know replaced him because they ha they haven't gone out and bought a, a superstar. Do you know what I mean? Um, now they're bringing back a superstar, a what a multi time Champions League winner, um, in Gareth Bale. We all know what he did in the Premier League for Spurs, so it is a, it's a major coup for them, and um, I'm sure their fans will be very very delighted. It doesn't just seem like he's the only one from Madrid that's going to be on their way. I think um, Spurs have are on the brink of securing the services of uh, the left-back Reguilón uh, on a two-year loan deal, uh, which Manchester United walked away from, uh, which I'm happy that we did. Um, I'm not happy with the lack of uh, transfer activity in the market, but I'm happy we walked away from that deal because that doesn't make sense because then we're just being a feeder club for Real Madrid because you sign him on loan, for two seasons he bangs and then Real Madrid you know have a buyback clause to take him back to Real Madrid nah 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 that's dead but for Spurs maybe that's what they need they've had problems at left back uh, in the last year or so Danny Rose he doesn't seem like he's getting a look in anymore um Ben Davis is <clears throat> he's all right but you know he he's not I don't think he's that 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 elite level to to take Spurs to the next level. Um, so, you know, uh, I've only heard good things about Regu Reguilon. Um, seems like a, a, an assured left-back. I uh, saw a couple of games that he played for against Spain um, and he did his thing. But um, in terms of going back to Bale, um, you know, I think that it's a risk, but it's a calculated risk. You know, he's he's been injury-prone, um, he's been on the periphery at Real Madrid, so you know his fitness has always been called into question. But the thing about Bell is when he does get going, 
he's he's almost unplayable he's almost unstoppable so if he can get over his injury woes and start ticking with the Spurs team then Spurs could actually be a problem that front three could be a deadly problem you know you you have uh, Bell on one side Kane in the middle and Son on the other um, and not to mention that they'll have, you know, <clears throat> reinforcements on the uh, bench in terms of, was it Bergwijn and, and Lucas Moura. So <clears throat> if Mourinho gets it right, then it could be a very, very good sign for Spurs. And, you know, they could push closer or, or even break back into the top four. I don't think they'll be able to challenge for the title. Um or get near either Man City or Liverpool. But, uh, you know, they'll be there or thereabouts, you know, to try and break back into the top four. Um, and if Bale is on form this season and produces wonders, then boy, phew, yeah, it could be it could be very deadly for them. But, uh, yeah, the, the deal seems close. I mean, Bale's agent ha- announced that the deal is close. Um, it's expected that, you know, the deal will be announced uh, later on today um, or possibly on Friday. Um, and apparently Bell, he's just waiting on the green light to get on the flight from Madrid back to London, um, which will be remarkable. I mean, you know, who would have thought that Bale would have come back to um, Tottenham, you know? Uh, you know, I thought that possibly maybe if we don't sign Sancho, then, you know, we could potentially try and get a loan deal. Um, with Real Madrid, but for some reason, I just feel like our relationship with Real Madrid is a bit of a frosty. Whenever since what happened with De Gea, you know, I feel like we don't have the best of relations with Real Madrid anymore, and I feel like you know Tottenham and and Real Madrid probably have you know a much more smoother relationship. Um, you know, some rival fans will say twenty million for a loan deal is quite a lot. That that is quite expensive, but I mean Bale's contract is very very complicated. It's el complicado. You know what I mean? It's El Complicado. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, you know, loopholes that uh, have prohibited, stopped him from from leaving Real Madrid. Um, you know, he was comfy to sit on <laughs> the contract for, for two more years, but I think he's decided that he's had enough. And uh, I think this is the best thing for, for both parties, man. Um, it, it's a shame because Bale, he's, he's an elite player. And he needs to be playing football. And I think he realises that now, you know, he wants to play football regularly. You know, he's had his time in the sun, you know, and he's he, he's been able to troll Madrid, you know, with uh, his captures when he's been with Wales, you know, Wales, Golf, Madrid. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's about time that, you know, he returns back to the Premier League. And, and you know, if he can remain fit and entertain the neutrals and and you know, do what he does best, you know, and uh, show us what a wand of a left foot that he does have. But Spurs fans, I mean, yeah, you know, the week looks like it's ended on a high after a horrible start. You know, you must have saw that game against Everton and thought, you know, what the hell have we got ourselves into this season with Jose Mourinho at the helm. But, you know, this could be the, the signing that finally delivers Tottenham Hotspurs a trophy for the first time in over 10 years because they need to get that monkey off their back I mean you know Mo the comedian he, he has more trophies uh, than Tottenham in the last 10 years I mean, so that, I mean that's saying something and Tottenham really do need to get that monkey off their back you know because they can't keep on competing they've got this nice stadium now you know they've, they've played attractive football for the last three or four seasons um, so it is very important that they try and win a trophy, finally, some sort of silverware, just to give them a taste of how it feels to lift a cup, you know, because so many teams have been shit in the top six, but have still managed to win trophies. Do you know what I mean? You know, Chelsea haven't been the greatest. They've still won trophies. Arsenal have been doo-doo. They've won trophies or yeah, four FA Cups, I believe. Um, Man United been trash. We've won trophies. Do you know what I'm saying? So for Spurs, they've been in the top four, but they haven't won any trophies. They've got no silverware to show for the good football that they've given, you know, the neutrals and their fans in the last four seasons. So could this be the signing, you know, that Spurs <clears throat> need to get them a trophy? And it could be because, like I said, you know, their front three could be very, very deadly, you know, if Bale is fit. 
um, and if Marina uses them in the right way, then you know who knows, who knows. And if if I was if I was Spurs and Mourinho, I'd probably target the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup. You know, that's probably what I'll target just to get that first one under the belt. But who knows what the objectives are? I'm sure Tottenham fans, you can you can emphasize on that a bit more better than than I can. Um, but yeah. It looks rosy right now for Spurs. Yeah, my dad will love that, man. Rest in peace. But, uh, yeah, it's your boy Shingi. You know what to do. You know, before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you share with your friends. Leave a comment below, especially Spurs fans. I want to hear your thoughts on how you feel about Bell coming back to Tottenham Hotspurs. Is he going to be a hit? Is he going to be a miss? Would you prefer to sign somebody else? Um... Yeah, let me know, man. And make sure you follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter, Shingi underscore LDN. Make sure you follow the football channel, which is YKTS Football. And yeah, I'll be back again in the next couple of days. I'm out.